All right, so let's look at another one. This is going to be a little bit easier than the last one, but similar thing here. We've got this uh, frame. Uh, we've got this force of 500 newtons, and we want to find the horizontal vertical components of pins at A and B. All right, so neither of these are two force members, right, because we've got a distributed load, because we've got this force, even though they are pinned pinned at both sides or at, at, at both ends, they're not two force members because they have something else, you know, in between them. Now, if I was to look at the whole free body diagram, I'd have four unknowns, right? A, Y, A, X, B, X, and B, Y. Um, if I was to look at just bar A, C, I'd still have four unknowns. If I was to look at just bar B, C, I'd have four unknowns. So it's similar to the last one in that we just have to start where we have four, uh, but... That last one was tougher. It had a, mo a moment reaction. If you don't have a moment reaction, a lot of times what happens is, I'll kind of give you a preview. For this free body diagram, if we sum the moments about A, it has a CX and a CY in it. And then for this free body diagram, if we sum the moments about B, it also has a CX and CY in it. That's where we can kind of start with two equations, two unknowns in order to solve, um, in order to solve that. All right, so let's do that. Let's look at, how about just AC? Let's look at just AC. We've got a pin here, so an AY and an AX. We have a pin right here at C. Uh, which I haven't um, drawn before, uh, so I can label those any direction I want. All right, CX and a CY. Then I've got a distributed load. Let me go ahead and replace that distributed load with one force. Uh, it is a 400 newton per meter by 1.5 meter. Make sure you go back and review, make sure you know all those distributed loads, but this would be 600 at 0 0.75, 0 0.75, 0 0.75, and then this is a 60 degree angle. Make it self-sufficient, right? If I ask for a free body diagram, make it self-sufficient. There we go. So I think that's my a good free body diagram. So now I can sum the forces in the x direction. CX plus AX, I drew both of those in the positive X direction. And then here we've got 600. Now, I feel like I do this a lot, but I still have a lot of students who make mistakes about this. This bar is 60 degrees from horizontal. This distributed load is perpendicular to it. So it is 60 degrees from vertical right there. So what, that's why this would be, what, 600 sine 60 in the x direction. Summing the forces in the y direction. CY, AY, and then down 600, cosine 60 equals 0. And so now here, here's where thinking ahead will help me out. If I sum the moments about C, I have AX and AY in that equation. But if I sum the moments about A, I've got CX and CY in that equation. And so that's what I'm going to do. Sum the moments about point A. First, let me do this one. Don't over, don't don't go around the bush and break this one into it. That component times that distance. This component times that distance. Uh, we can just we already know its force and its perpendicular distance. Six hundred newtons, point seven five meters, creating a negative moment. All right, but then here the CX, its moment arm. Uh, 1.5, let's see, this distance right here, 1.5 sine 60, creating a negative, right, because clockwise is negative, counterclockwise is positive. And, you know, you can just define that yourself. Since we're, since we're setting it equal to zero, you can define your own axis. You can define what direction you want to be positive um, moment. Uh, and then CY, uh, its moment arm, 1.5. 1.5 cosine 60, and that would create a 
paused a moment, set that equal to zero. All right, I can't solve <clears throat> right away, right? I just wrote three equations that have four unknowns. There's not one equation that only has one unknown. There's not two equations that have two unknowns. I can't solve right away. So let me jump to my next free body diagram. Let's look at this bar CB. Free body diagram for bar CB. There we go. What forces do we have acting on here? We've got a 500 Newton force. All right, we have, let's, let's do this, B, Y, and B, X. And then we have C, Y, and C, X. Now, I haven't solved for C, Y, and C, X before, but I have drawn them already. And I've already written some equations with them in it, right? And so I need to make sure that all my equations agree, all my directions agree. This one, I said, feels it to the right, so this one, I need to draw it to the left, right? This one feels it up. This one is going to feel it down. It's equal and opposite. One of them feels that, you know, internal pin, force of the pin equal and opposite what the other one feels. Now, I could be wrong, but I need to be consistently wrong, and if my answer comes out negative... I chose the wrong, if my answer comes out negative, then this one was up and this one was down. I need to go back and redraw it uh, everywhere if it comes out negative. All right, but you've got to stay consistent or, um, or you, you will not get the correct answers. All right, this is one meter in dimension, one meter. Uh, axes, I think I'm ready to sum the forces in the x direction. Negative CX. Why negative? Because the sum of the forces, these equilibrium equations are drawn according to the axes. Negative CX plus BX minus 500 equals zero. Sum of the forces in Y, CY down, BY up equals zero. And then summing the moments. Now, if I sum the moments about B, it has a, B, a CX and a CY, and that one has a CX and a CY, and then that's where I can start two equations, two unknowns, in order to um, solve these equations. All right, so some of the moments about B. BX goes straight through it. BY goes straight through it. 500 acting one away, creating a negative moment. No, sorry, positive, right? Positive, counterclockwise is positive. Um, CY acting one away, creating also positive. And CX acting one, you know, that that one away, also positive, equals zero. Equals zero. So, so here I've got six equations, six unknowns. Is there one equation that only has one unknown? No. But is there two equations that only have two unknowns? Yes. And that's where I'm going to start, right here and right here. I'm going to write CX. It would be equal to negative CY minus 500. I'm going to plug that in right there, and then I've only got CY, and so I can solve for first CY. I would get CY negative uh, 97.4. That's okay. What does that negative mean? That negative means I drew it the wrong direction. What do I want you to do? 97.4 newtons, and come back up here, and anywhere that you've drawn it, draw it the other direction. So it is down... On this member, it is up on this member. And you might have guessed that way to begin with, and so your answer would have come out positive. And so we, we're all going to come up with the same answer. What's our, our final answer? Is this, and I need to see it drawn that way for this free body diagram, and that way for this free body diagram. Now, you know that I, I prefer you not to completely erase it. Just kind of do a kind of a squiggly and, and show me, because I like to know what you guess. I like to know what you were thinking when you were draw when you were writing your equations. All right, so see why 97.4. But, all right, when I'm going back to plug in to find CX, I'm going to plug in that negative 97.4. Why? Because I'm going back to an equation that I had already written uh, and I, I kind of wrote it in the wrong direction, so I need to put that negative to correct the fact that I wrote it in the wrong direction. Okay? And I would get CX, negative 402.6, but that's okay. All right? CX is 402.6 newtons that way and that way. 
All right. All right. And then I, I plug that back in to where? Up to here to find BX. Plug it back in up there to find BY. I would get BX is 97.4. Came out positive. Awesome. I just box it in. Don't have to do anything. BY, negative 97.4. So BY is 97.4 in that direction. Anywhere I've drawn it, go back and redraw it. And then AX is just the mass. It, and double check me on these. Sometimes these could be wrong. Came out to be positive 117. And AY came out to be positive 397. And so I'm looking for... These things boxed in, and then I'm going back to your free body diagram to see was BY that way, was BX that way, CY should be that way, CX should be that way, and then on here you got you got to draw the correct direction on all your free body diagrams. All right, so let's go back and look at what we did. I thought maybe I should start with the whole free body diagram, but there were four unknowns. Then I thought, well, let me start with AC. It has four unknowns. Let me start with BC. It has four unknowns. All right, so I've got to start with something. So start with something, write your three equations, jump to the next one, write its three equations, and then you can find a place that has probably two equations, two unknowns that you can start chipping away, solving for one, solve for another, solve for another, solve until you've solved for what it's asking for. All right? All right, good job.